Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day and today I want to do a little versus video. These are two knives in my collection that um, I have purchased at, you know, very far apart with no intention of making this video. Um, you know, I purchased them because I love their designs and, you know, they intrigue me enough to, you know, make the final purchase. I picked both of these up from Blade HQ, one of my favorite online retailers, and I'm going to start with the Civivi Knives Baby Banter. So starting with the price, it is $59.50. Comes in a crap ton of different colors, so that's pretty cool. Overall length is 5.46, cutting edge is 1.95. Um, let's see, blade width, it's talking about in you know in this dimension is one inch blade thickness 0.09 uh, blade material is nitro v good blade material it's on the higher end of uh, budget steel um stone wash flat ground no fancy hollows or anything like that uh liners or stainless steel thumb stud deployment um and that's really it so there's that guy. Let's do the concept knives little main street right here. So this guy also comes in a butt ton of different colors. The price is $44.99. So it is, in my opinion, significantly cheaper than the Civivi Knives Baby Banter. Overall length is five and a half inches. Blade length is two point uh 2.25 inches blade width 0.88 blade thickness 0.12 blade material is 154 cm i am not a metallurgist if that's the proper uh, title but in my experience in using both of these knives head to head and you know through daily tasks and things like that i think they're pretty neck and neck and they're both extremely easy to sharpen I have no issues with, with resting or any like weird spots or marks or anything like that. So I would say that they're pretty much the same. I don't think that one's, you know, better performing than the other, honestly. They are um, sharpened at the same angle, the same grit pattern and stropped at the same angle and grit. And um, that isn't coming from the factory. That is what... Uh, uh, what I did to you know maintain maintain them. Uh, this is also a a flat ground knife, and the origin of both these knives is you know overseas production. That's that's really it on specs and all that. So looking over both of these guys, they are basically the same overall length. One, the banter, baby banter. Excuse me. Um, it's a little bit more hand filling just because it's wider in you know overall I guess size. It has a full finger troil with some nice softened jimping down here and back here. Um, it could have stood to have a little bit more further up because while it is comfy to hold back here, I would say that if to get a you know full purchase as it's intended, the uh, jimping could have gone up twice the length of what it currently is access to the one-sided steel liner because the other side is just solid g10 um it's pretty easy to get to there is actually these little i guess you want to call them jimps or little relief cuts to i guess get a grip on your on your finger that's one thing i guess This has, you know, the ability to be carried both left or right-handed, not, you know, tip up or down. It's just tip up carry. Um, it is deep carry with the bent steel pocket clip inset into the G10 and also flat screws. This guy is a little bit different because access to the, um, to the inset uh, liner it's uh, kind of difficult to get at, but it is possible. And, um, you know, with ownership of this thing and actually using it, I personally have learned it's really not that difficult. Um, it has a mill titanium pocket clip, which is you know, quite fancy, but everybody values things differently. If you're looking for functionality, 
the baby banter wins in that because it carries deeper. Most people prefer that. I am very indifferent with that. Um, I don't care if, uh, if a knife carries deep or not because most of the time I don't really do clip upgrades. I plan to with some of my spider codes and I have with one knife, my um, Civivi Elementum. But that was that was really it. Um, I think that you know it's a very premium move to have a you know matchy matchy you know black mill titanium pocket clip, but it is only for right-handed tip up carry, and it limits you know the the amount of people that that design could really you know work for. So um, deployment on both of these thumb th uh, <laughs> thumb studs, but for the baby banter the thumb studs are just a hair lower yeah they're a little bit lower than these the little main street so you have to get you know a little further down to deploy it the detent on both of these is uh they're both well tuned there's no there's no movement in any dimension it's just, they're just solid little things. So again, light duty knives are, they're very small, um, but very capable knives for sure. Um, so at the end of the day, I really do think it comes down to, um, I guess, look preference. Um, as I mentioned before, the baby banter is gonna cost you more, but I don't really think you gain much more. I don't think you gain more knife than the uh the little main street here you know there are things like the um you know like the premium pocket clip that you get versus you know the bent steel pocket clip but again that's also a preference thing the weight on these guys um i don't think i even looked at that let me let me see if i could find that right now i'm sorry i didn't even bother i didn't even bother thinking about that let's see if i can pull that up pretty quickly Mm -hmm. I don't know why I didn't save it. I had a window open already of what I was working on. Okay, well, yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to pull that up um, quickly enough to not hold you guys longer than, than I really need to. But they they feel quite the same. If anything, the banter feels a little, just a little bit heavier, despite the you know, concept having steel liners on both sides, but the G10 scales are very thin and they're actually inset on both sides, which is uh, kind of schmancy, honestly, for such a small knife. Um, this, it's just, it's G10, like full G10 on one side, and then this tiny, tiny ass, a little, um, you know, inset steel liner on the one side, so. Functionally speaking, structurally speaking, I don't think these are really any different. I'm not going to be bashing these uh, with a brick, against a brick, or batoning with a hammer. That's not what these knives are for. Um, I have some just standard, you know, standard cardboard here. And I did sharpen both of these right before the video. Same grit, same angle, same everything. And just for, you know, I guess, common use. So these are just, you can get, a, you can get a lot of, a lot of leverage right behind, you know, that cutting edge, which is cool. Very comfortable, super easy to get at. It really is. So there's that. And then with the concept, same thing with this guy. If anything, it might be a little a little slicier, but also it just depends on how you hold the knife, whether it's like further pointed down or if you hold it like further back or actually utilizing the choil. Um, this doesn't have a finger choil, but it has this little lip right here that, uh, that kind of acts as a finger guard and you can, you know, have your thumb up here. There is no jimping up there, so, you know, keep that in mind. There is this, you know, weird side side jumping right there which it works 
Um, again, you don't need super tactical grip because you're not going to be, you know, busting this little thing out when you're freaking tussling in the mud or anything crazy like that. You're not going to find yourself in, in situations like that. And to think of, you know, using one of these little guys. Um, I should have brought a piece of wood with me or something so I could do some like score, like scoring cuts, but I personally don't do that that often. It's just a body armor box because I buy a crap ton of them when they go on sale. And you know, as you can see, this thing is just, it's super easy to just to tear down, tear down boxes. So just like it's big old daddy, the full size main street, it's a cardboard destroyer for sure. Um, I don't have a full size banter because I just, I don't. Um, I will probably one day, most likely. But uh, yeah, I mean, this, this little guy is the, it's the same thing. I think cutting performance is quite the same. I don't really believe in my use and you know experience with these knives i don't find that big of a difference in utility when it comes to the blade shape because one is obviously going to be more of a uh you know replaceable disposable utility blade versus this one but the tip of the baby banter is still rather you know pointed down so it really is just the slightest little tilt of the wrist. Um, you're not going to be chopping trees down with these things. So it shouldn't put any kind of strain on your wrist while using it. Um, so that's that's really it for these little guys. Um, I think they're both amazing little knives. But I do have to choose one. Of course, I love hearing what you guys think. I love the, the community, the communication. Um, I want to know if you guys actually own these knives, um, whether at different parts of your, you know, collecting of, you know, the hobby and things like that, or maybe you do actually still own them at the same time. What do you guys think? But for me personally, I actually like the concept knives, little Main Street, a little bit more. Maybe it's because of my my love for the full size Main Street. Um, you know, I thought this knife was kind of funky looking, maybe a little too tactical, um, <clears throat> maybe just a little too big for me. But within using this thing for such a long time at work, I just love this thing. It's just great. Um, maybe it's that. But I have technically owned the Baby Banter longer and I've used it longer. Um, so with me sharpening this significantly more times this I've only sharpened it once since purchasing it. this has been sharpened about four times and has gotten way more hours way more you know days worth of carrying and actual use I will still say I actually I personally prefer the concept knives little main street because I think you're getting more knife for your money it is cheaper, in my opinion, significantly cheaper. Um, you get a premium pocket clip and not much of it sticks out. It's just that tiny little bit. Um, if you care about lanyards, you could add one to that last little post back there. The blade shouldn't chop it off because there is actually a fair bit of distance right there to have your lanyard. I might pick at it a little bit if like you have like really big like paracord lanyard but if you just have you know a, I forgot the the sizing of the, the really thin paracord the, the ones that's like half the size of the standard size paracord if you have a little lanyard with a little bead on that I think this would be even more enjoyable for people that you know want to get just a hair bit more purchase on this but for me personally I think this little guy's the winner let me know what you guys think. I will be linking both of these down in the description. Thank you for watching. I love you guys and take care.